Welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you an update from my previous OpenAI integration on Home Assistant. Previously, to bring OpenAI into Home Assistant using my custom integration, you'd need a usable OpenAI API key. This new version does not require an API key and instead uses OpenAI services via MindsDB. The first thing we need to do then is create a free account with MindsDB. Head to this page and sign up for your free account. Once it's registered, you can simply sign in and this will take you to the MindsDB cloud portal. From here, we need to create our OpenAI model using a SQL query. I'll have this query in the description. Feel free to change parameters such as the model name, max tokens to be used, and the OpenAI model to use. Everything else needs to be kept as it is in this example. So the name I'm using here is GPT-4 Hasio and the OpenAI model is GPT-4. Once you're happy, click Run to create your model. The last thing we need to do in MindsDB is grab the session cookie so we can use the API service within Home Assistant. You can get the session cookie by going into the Inspect Element page on your browser. Click on the Network tab and then refresh the web page, hitting F5. Scroll up until you see Editor, then click on the Cookies tab. Inside this tab, you should see an element called Session. This is where your session cookie lives. Copy the session cookie and paste it for use later on Home Assistant. Back on Home Assistant, open Hacks and click on Integrations. Click the three dots on the top right of the page and press Custom Repositories. Paste in the GitHub repo URL for my custom component, select integrations in the category drop down menu, and click add. Open the newly added integration, click download on the bottom right of the page. Once downloaded, you'll need to restart Home Assistant. Next we need to include this new integration within your configuration.yaml file. So head over to your file editor, in this example I'm using Studio Code Editor add-on. Open the configuration.yaml file and the first thing we're going to add is the input text entity. This is what we'll be using to send prompts to OpenAI. Rename this however you want, here I'm calling it GPT prompt. Then we need to add in the OpenMinds AI sensor. The name for the sensor and the input name sections for the sensor are optional. If you don't include these, they'll use a default value. Note that the input name sections need to match the name of the input text entity we just created. Therefore, you'll need to make sure that the input text entity name is GPT underscore prompt if you're using the default value. The session cookie is a required field. You should have this copied somewhere ready to paste in from MindsDB and model is the name we gave out to the MindsDB model we created. And once you're happy and that's done, you'll just need to restart Home Assistant again. To test this out, open your dashboard and we'll add in a card for the input text entity and open Minds AI sensor entity. I've included an example card that you can use in the description. We'll just need to ensure that the input text and sensor names match your own entity names. Click save and from here everything should be working and you should now be able to send your first prompt to OpenAI. So type a question, hit enter and wait for a reply. Just bear in mind longer responses will take longer to appear in the response card. Unlike ChatGPT, you won't see the response being typed out in real time. And that's it for this video. As always, if you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay up to date with all my future videos. Also, let me know what ideas you have for this integration in the comments section below and how you plan on using this in your Home Assistant setup.